Many prosecutors using more dash cam video to build their murder case against a fired Balt Springs police officer. The video shows the traffic stop after 15 year old Jordan Edwards was shot by Officer Roy Oliver. The teenager's brothers and friends were in the car with him, and we want to warn you their reaction to what happened is very emotional. The video was shown to the jury just late this afternoon. Fox 4 Sean Rabb is outside the courthouse with what it shows and how the day's other testimony unfolded. Sean. Steve, uh, yes, video that caused some of the jurors to weep, some of Jordan Edwards' family to rush out of the courtroom and eventually causing Judge Brandon Birmingham to call for a brief recess. It is the video from Bald Springs Officer Jeremy Shambly's body camera system. He stopped their car about a block to a block and a half from that shooting uh, on Shepherd Street. Let's go ahead and take a look at the video. I'm going to tell you what was happening. This was a felony stop. He stopped them. He was giving them commands to get out of the car, hands up, and to walk backwards towards him. They were sitting in the car, hands out, pleading for him to help them, saying, please help us. Please don't hurt us. And then as they began to walk backwards towards the officer following his commands, I want you to listen as one of Jordan Edwards' brothers, actually the stepbrother who was driving, began talking to the officer. He, he tells the officer he's dead, he's dead in the car as they continued this felony stop. At one point, after all of the boys were out of the car, they asked Officer Chambly, he testified today, to pray with them for their brother. All of this testimony coming at the end of the day, the emotional punctuation mark to a day that had been filled with high tech testimony, a day where the shooting incident was re recreated through the body camera systems of both Officer Tyler Gross and the defendant, former Ball Springs Officer Roy Oliver. You're looking at side-by-side -side video of Balt Springs police officers Tyler Gross on left, Roy Oliver's recording system on the right as the shooting of Jordan Edwards is about to unfold. The forensic video expert witness hired by prosecutors is Grant Fredericks. Side-by-side -side, we get to see what both of those cameras independently recorded but at the same moment in time. Timing is what this testimony is about. Officer Gross is yelling for the car to stop, and from the time he breaks the rear passenger side window to the first shot by Oliver is... It's about 358 milliseconds. That's thousandths of a second, just slightly over a third of a second. Frederick asked by First Assistant District Attorney Mike Snipes how long it takes Oliver to fire five rounds into the car carrying Jordan Edwards. About 0.993 seconds. That's less than one full second. Listen again. And Frederick's analysis shows the car was driving away from the officers when the shots were fired. Officer Gross is not in a position uh, to be impacted by the vehicle. The vehicle is moving away from the officer. Frederick's says his work shows... The subject vehicle steered away from Officer Gross and Officer Oliver prior to the shots. And the final three shots after the car had passed Oliver. In cross-exam, Miles Brissett asked Frederick about reaction time and his analysis. He answered, that's outside my area of expertise. The defense is doing a good job of uh, focusing on the fact that milliseconds do matter. Former prosecutor Heath Harris, not involved in this case, says reaction time does matter and officers are reacting to what they perceive. You got milliseconds to make a decision and given the totality of the circumstances that were out there, uh, again, it's going to be tough. You know, I, I'd like to hear from the officer. I don't know if we will, but I think that officer is the only one who can tell us, uh, you know, exactly why he fired those shots. And when testimony resumes tomorrow, we expect to continue hearing from Officer Jeremy Shambly, and he should be followed by the state's use of force expert. Back to you.